Okay, it's time to be fucking horrified. Uh, this is the ranked mode. One of versus one in StarCraft Remastered. And if you have been following my channel, you know that not only have I hosted StarCraft tournaments, I've played quite a lot of StarCraft 2. I consider myself to be a fan of, you know, the StarCraft 2 single player experience, but I grew up with actually playing the original title, and right now I'm trying to keep my APM up because that's what's supposed to be. Ah, seriously though, uh, what I am doing is trying to relearn everything I need to relearn, because the problem, or rather, one of the selling points of StarCraft at this point, is that to be a good commander in StarCraft means you have to overcome the quirks of the game. Like, many of the things were streamlined in StarCraft 2, but in StarCraft 1 you only have your 12 units, you only you need to overcome the fact that you uh, need to actually assign your workers as well. You need to you need to think about that shit. And that makes this an actual pretty good game. What it also makes it is highly frustrating for all the right reasons. And it also means there's you actually need to get used to it. Let's see our overlord is halfway done. But at least I like that, because it would have been easy for Blizzard to release a remaster where all the perks were fixed, where you could select more than one unit, uh, more than 12 units, where workers would assign themselves. And I wouldn't actually be against such a system for the single player or versus AI, but when it comes to multiplayer, it's part of the game. And you have to be a person who actually can handle it. And that's why StarCraft Master so far actually has done a fairly good job winning me, winning me over. And I have played two matches so far. I won one, I lost one. So this is going to be the third one. And we're gonna see how we do on it. Uh, the main problem I had during the second game was extensive lag. I don't really know what. Oh fuck, I froze. He knows I'm zero now. However, we have links that we can create now, so all is good. I don't know if this actually is up here. I think it is. And he might be trying to expand this direction. Uh, but if, it, if he is Protoss, then we have the glorious opportunity of... Yeah, I forgot I need to expand as well. He's not here. Oh, fuck. He should be in the top right then. There's no guarantee of him being there. But he should be. And with should, I mean hope. We got his probe at any rate, so he can't actually scout out our base and see the fact that we are expanding. Instead, he might actually think this is... This is our big attack here. And I hope he does, because my plan isn't to attack him. Really. My plan is to maybe harass him a bit, see what he's doing. Uh, but I'm, I want to go... Go honorable, so to speak. However, I can't really understand why I actually can't find the guy. <sighs> and he, 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 oh, God. oh crap, we're under attack. He has a photon cannon wall next to his expansion, and that's fine. Actually, it's not fine because it means he can take up behind us, but it also means that we are fairly safe. I would expect him to go for some kind of air power here. 
Uh, but it also means for goons are gonna be later. Oh, spawn more overlords, spawn more overlords. They always want me to spawn more overlords. Now he knows that basically my... There, we got him. We could actually go Lurkus, but it's not really worth going Lurkus since our fella here. Yeah, Overlord's on the way, mate. Since our fella here... Uh, yeah, not one of What we really should have, uh, have uh, gotten is... <sighs> a lot of things, actually. I am currently considering Lurkus, just for the, you know, for the heck of it. But with him having... Uh, did I have to get in? Uh, this is part of the charm of Starcraft. You know, be very uncertain what you can get away with and not. I'm actually gonna put down a spore column here as well. Just in... Oh, wait. I'm still in Starcraft 2 mode. I forgot that... Um, that I can actually detect with my overlords. I don't need to go over here. I don't need to put down a spore crawler. I can detect with my overlords. Hopefully he has forgotten that fact. He might not. And we're getting green spines and we're getting upgrades for our neutralists. And we're gonna get a nice good number of hydralisks too. We're gonna send these guys to go and bother him at the gate. These guys can hang around. Yeah, we don't want to duel with the cannons. We just want to do as much damage as we can without actually committing to breaking his blockade. So far, so good. Let's get some links in there. Ah. Breaking that down is going to be very tricky without the link support. Because I want the links to be a distraction for the cannon. Yeah, we got it. I think our evolution with extended attack range might actually be complete as well. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's an Artosis pylon. Let's just get the fucker. Oh, bugger me. That was not a wise move on our part, but hey. I had hoped that we could actually get the Artosis pylon, but... Hopefully he'll just counter attack. That is what I would have done instead. Uh, his stead, but... Yeah, if I'm panicking here, it's because this is StarCraft and it's very hectic. And I'm also very not used to talking while I'm playing, so... I am kind of considering getting Mutus or something stupid. But getting Mutus when he has goons is just not a good idea. However, at least he seems to be going for, you know, your standard run of the lobby. And not something that could actually be stupid. And with stupid, I mean something that's dangerous for me.
So we are gonna get a few extra hatcheries so we can actually produce more units. Because there are no... Well, there are queens, but they're not doing what you, you uh, remember them doing in Combat 2, in case you're completely blissfully unaware of what this is kind of a game. Also notice the fact that we do very well on just one gas. We're gonna get the carpets. We're gonna... Sweet. A probe. We're gonna kill that probe. Because I don't want that probe to be... You know, expanding or doing anything that it shouldn't. Oh crap, he got more of those. For some reason, I can't get to that probe, however. But we, I think we're gonna get Link Speed, so it, he seems to be going for a large, large number of Ragoons, so... And if he's going for a large number of Ragoons, that means that we need a large number of counter. I'm also kind of intrigued to get transporting for Overlord, so we're gonna sacrifice this Overlord just to see what he's up to. And we're gonna get ourselves some blood, because, because Observer Tech is not something that's easy to tech, yeah. Uh, it can be done, sure, but it's not the easiest tech to get, so right now I'm basically just zooming in through all my... I'm trying to find a Stargate or something equally silly. Uh, it seems like we can actually, if we can get down here, we might actually be able to drop into his base, and it would be interesting to see if we can drop a pair of blockers that way. So we're gonna research, research transport for Overlord. And we're gonna research the speed, and then we're gonna see if we can't drop some lurkers in them. Of course he'll have an expansion down there as well, but I don't actually s He seems to be going for Templars, and doesn't seem to even have a robotic space. So, you know, lurkers, yay on that score. Come on, hurry up. Morph two lurkers. More of two lurkers. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like we're gonna get the chance for it. Or rather, we will. As soon as these lurkers are actually complete. He doesn't actually have anything that can counter these monsters, and that's just fine with me a bit. However, now we've played our card, so... Let's wait. Okay, so now we need to just need the overload movement. And we need to get some of our resourcing back. Uh, this guy is gonna take observers ASAP. So our job now is to basically get things going. We're gonna plant down some fleet colonies, so that if he decides to come back, we'll have a bit more to go on. Come on, hurry up. Research about halfway done. But... Uh, 
Yeah, um, about grouping several buildings together, you can't do that either. Okay. Yeah, he's attacking pretty hard now. I don't think he actually might... Uh, come on, I need that speed. I have a need for speed. <sighs> come on. Hurry up. Uh, lurker drop. That it's not yesterday I did a lurker drop, mind you. In fact, it's quite opposite to yesterday. I don't know if it's actually... Oh, this is, this is tense. This is really tense. Oh god, he saw it. Our forces are on the attack. We need to drop the second pair now. There we go. I don't know if you actually... We are two base versus probably more base. Oh crap, he has observers. It was fun while it lasted. I almost thought I was gonna get away with it. Almost. But I didn't. I was kind of hoping I would get away with it. Uh, why didn't I get away with this? Yeah, I wasn't really committing to it all either, so that's part of why I didn't get away with it, but at least it's a very, very interesting game so far. I mean, yeah, we're gonna keep on dropping, actually. You there. We're gonna drop to make sure that the enemy doesn't really feel safe. Uh, he's gonna get turrets down, of course, so it's not like we're gonna have... We need a queen's nest. I sh really should get some mutas as well. I... Get back here. Fall back. I don't want to eat in the sky storm, goddammit. Ah. Uh, Is this guy a retard? Ah, uh, there it comes. Seriously, if there's something that bugs me, it's people who doesn't say... GG after a game of StarCraft. That's sacred tradition. If you don't and if you don't do it, you are BMing boss who deserves nothing else but Call of Duty. Still, it was a really good game. I those I don't even mind the fact that I lost it. Uh, our APMs were kinda similar. I had more units, but the fact was I lost the expansion game. He had three bases. And I as a Zerg had two because I'm used to the StarCraft 2 Zerg, I'm used to being able to amass an army like that. In a single instant, I'll have an army at my fingertips that I can use to just sweep away any dangerous things. And I can do so with two or three clicks. Yeah, can't get away with it in Remastered. And that is why Remastered is fucking superior!